boy, this series is really trying to make me a fan of Virgo now. I'm saying, I'm liking the new Virgo. Virgo is pretty beastly right now. So in this episode, we see that they're trying to get something known as Librarium, which is actually something to like liberate all the celestial spirits. And we found a little dark truth about what this thing really is. And to pretty much activate this thing, they need to like go to like this giant Corin Tower sort of looking thing. And I've got to say, why the hell? And this is like one of the biggest issues in this episode that the still frames were so bad. It's like, am I watching One Piece right now with all these still frames? Am I watching World Trigger? Like, I felt like Toei animated this. This was like how horrific the still frames and the animation looked very derpy at some parts in this episode. It looked horrific. A1 pictures normally fill out. And this is mainly because, you got to realise this, people, this is a filler app. They're not going to put a lot of budget into this. They're like, we'll just throw this out for like, you know, six months and people will be fine with it. Then we move on, you know, we go to the third arc, you know, we go and do the canon, and everyone's fine. Like, yeah, while I'm not too bummed about that, it's like, this episode did have a lot of issues going with the animation, and also as well, a huge plot hole, which I'll get onto later. But we see that Nasu and everyone goes to, like, find this library, and actually Nasu goes to the Celestial Spirit Wars, and they were, like, coming up with a plan with a bunch of people who go into there. And Natsu, we see, like, Natsu actually going against the new version of Taurus. And surprisingly enough, Natsu was going quite in, in to, against Taurus. And he actually lost against Taurus. I was like, and they say people like Fairy Tail doesn't, like, ever lose or anything like that. Or even Natsu himself. Well, he does get, he does lose in filler. So I guess that's something. Not to mention, well, we did have Levi, Lucy, and Yukino, like, going in to the library. And also, as well, meeting up with Virgo and having that fight. And I've got to say, Yukino, I've got to give her props. Like, her actually being able to learn how to fight, I thought that was kind of cool. Like, she actually knows, like, some martial arts and shit, and she was actually going in a bit for a bit of Virgo. I liked that. I thought, you know, you know, isn't that useless? And I thought, you know, she's actually doing a very good job. Those mentions why I did, like, seeing, like, in this episode, they saw, like, Virgo got it, the spear in the end, and we found out that very dark truth about this librarian sort of thing, and that's actually, if you actually get, like... I believe you actually release the spirits and all that. They actually gain their freedom. But it's only for 12 days. They only live for 12 days that they had that. And they were trying so desperately hard to, like, tell Virgo, no, no, like, because Levy found it out. It's like, no, we have to stop this and all that. It's like, you're going to die. And that's like, they need to get him to Lucy and all that. So pretty much they have less than two weeks to pretty much sort this out. Otherwise, all the 12 celestial spirits are going to die. Like, it's going to be, like, some huge thing. Not to mention as well, i got to talk about that plot hole now. Plot hole, especially including Natsu. When Natsu got hit out of the Celestial Spirit World back into the human world, time is supposed to heavily progress during the Celestial Spirit World. If people remember through the Grand Magic Games prior before it, that, that when they actually went there to like party for a while, I think like a whole month or two or something disappeared, and Natsu was in there for a while, like, and you're telling me that he just came back to like a certain time. Either Natsu fought in there for like five seconds or something like that, or yeah, that's a plot hole, which I'm believing that's probably not a plot hole. Maybe they could explain that, like maybe like the world could be distorted or something like that, so time doesn't flow properly in the celestial spirit world now that everyone, like all the 12 zodiacs, they could do that. If they did that, I'd be fine with it. But honestly, I think that's a plot hole right there. And yeah, I mean, it's filler arc at the end of the day, but still, you got to point it out when it's an episode of like Fairy Tale. You still just got to point it out. Apart from that, the episode itself, I enjoyed it, but there were so many issues with it. Like, I felt like, you know, the fighting was fine. Nothing wrong with that. Just the still frames got on my nerves. And, you know, I kept looking at the fucking tower straight and forth. It's like, I understand this library. It's a tower. I get it. And, yeah, that's pretty much it already about the episode. I mean, the theory about, yeah, 12 days to live. Um, I hope they do something about that because it seems like next week we're going to be looking at some of the other celestial spirits. I think we're going to be looking at um, Piskeys or something like that. Like, um, I think that's, yeah, you can know it's like spirits like that. So that will be kind of interesting. Honestly, I wouldn't mind if they just did a filler episode tomorrow about Halloween since, you know, it's Halloween today. So, yeah, over from that, it was fine. I've been debating about what to give this a score. Um, I'm going to get a five. I mean, regardless of what, I, I was entertained in this episode. But yeah, like the animation and also as well, that plot hole was a huge thing in this thing. So yeah, I'm not going to give that kind of hard of score. But yeah, let me know what you think about the conversation down below. What do you think about that little plot hole that that had in this filler? What do you think about the, also the still bad animation? Do you think we're going to have this throughout the filler arc? And also as well, what do you think about Virgo and like Taurus going into this episode? Did you really enjoy their fight? But that's all for me. So thank you very much for watching as always. And I'll see you guys next time.